Happy anniversary! Oh, it's our happy, yep, happy anniversary. That is exactly what I was going to say. Beat me to it. It's chocolate ganache, your fave. Paul, oh, this is elaborate. Just wanted to show the love of my life, what she means to me. Haven't we only been dating for three months? Years. Time flies, right? Three years? All right. Come on. Come on. Where's my gift? What? I know you're going to show me up. You're amazing at presents. What'd you get me? Um, right. Yes. I got you. I got you this. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. This is, this is, what is this? It's the National Election Protection Hotline, because I know how much you love voting and protecting democracy and phones. That's so sweet. I, I do love those things. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Paul? It's just that I'm not even registered to vote. Well, maybe I am, but maybe I'm not. I honestly have no idea. Well, you can call the election protection hotline to confirm. But what if it's too late to register? Actually, 20 states plus the District of Columbia have same day registration, which allows any qualified resident of that state to register to vote and cast a ballot all in one day. Cool. Wait, what does qualified resident mean? It means you have to be older than me. Oh, hey, Tilly. Uh, come on in, Tilly. You also have to be older than me. Well, duh, May, you're a baby. But did you know that in Colorado, Louisiana, Maryland, Oregon, and Rhode Island, you can register to vote at 16, even if you can't actually vote until you're 18? Yeah, you've still got a long ways to go. Okay, okay. I realize I'm old enough to vote, but what am I supposed to bring with me? Like, to my polling place, I mean. Oh, oh, I know this. Your ID. But what kind of ID? That is a perfect question for the hotline. Yeah, because it really varies depending on what state you live in. You might need a photo ID. Like a driver's license. Or a U.S. passport. Or a tribal ID. But in other states, you just need something with your name and current address. Like a utility bill. Or a paycheck. Or a lease. Or a rental contract. Wow. You kids are really smart. I feel like your generation is going to swoop in and save our generation from imminent collapse, you know? Uh, that's kind of a tall order. And a condescending thing to say, Paul. Oh, sorry. So guys, a voter could be asked to show a certain ID at the polls, but not actually legally need that form of ID, right? Right. That smells like misinformation and intimidation to me. Intima what? Intimidation. It means when people try to puff themselves up and act all scary so that other people feel sad and run away from the voting booth. Really? Yeah, intense. But if that happens to you, or if you experience any problems voting at all, the election protection hotline's got your back. Okay, but who exactly picks up the phone when you call that number? Is it a robot? Yo, did someone say my name? No, sorry, we don't actually need you. Oh, okay? Because when people call the hotline, the opposite of a robot answers. What's the opposite of a robot? A lawyer. Wait, seriously? Man, I find lawyers so comforting these days. Same. You can also text the hotline. Good point, May. But I prefer calling. It's kind of nice to hear another human person breathing on the line, you know? Makes me feel a little more interconnected. Inter what? Interconnected. It means holding hands, but not like with your actual hands, but... More like with your hearts. Oh, cool. Hang on. What if I requested a ballot by mail, but it never arrived? What if I did receive my ballot by mail, but I don't know how to fill it out? I'll give you one guess. Do I call the... You got it. Election protection hotline? Bingo. Ah! 
866, our vote. What if I speak Spanish? 888, they vota. Arabic? 844, Yala US. Chinese, Vietnamese, Tagalog, and other Asian languages? 888, API vote. This is kind of firing me up. Can I vote if I'm incarcerated? In two states. Just two? Yep. Vermont and Maine. That seems wrong. Totally. But that's a whole nother video. Election Protection Hotline. This is the best anniversary present ever, babe. What did we say about you calling me, babe? What? What? 866, our vote.